We got the not coated over there and the coated over here. Here we got some old oil from my last oil change. We're gonna put, oh, a dab, and then we're gonna put, oh, another dab right there. Welcome back to the channel with Paradox the Rapper. Today, we got some professionals. What's your name? Austin. Austin? Yeah. Zephyr. Zephyr, okay. These folks are professional ceramic coders. So that's why you guys are here for this video. We're gonna talk about ceramic coating done by me, DIY style from Amazon versus a professional ceramic coating. All right, first off, we're supporting the business yeah. from Sacramento. You guys are in Elk Grove, mm -hmm. right? right? So tell me about what you guys do. So we're out here doing ceramic coatings, paint corrections, and anything paint related on the cars. Okay. So we recently started doing ceramic coatings on vinyl wrap as well. Uh, what we use is all 3M and Meguiar's products because we've found that that's the best in curing and lo longevity of the ceramic coating. Okay. So we out here, just we're gonna ceramic coat the C8 for you. Okay. Uh, we're gonna show you what we can do and how well it works compared to your ceramic that you have going on in your cars. You can go to their website. I will link the description down here. Use the code Paradox for a huge discount on their website if you guys want to schedule an appointment with them. Let's have a look at the MR2 that I ceramic coated right after I wrapped it. I mean, it's so far it's it's starting to feel rough again. So when, when I first put ceramic coating on, it was like super slick, That's right? Smooth, yeah. They sell me this spray thing. It it's like a reload, right? So when I reload the thing, it will feel smooth again. I mean, right now it's it's looking good and the washing is pretty easy. Like yeah. yesterday, I just hosed it down and then I just towel it off, right? But what I do find out is over time, ceramic coating, no matter if I use Ceramic Pro in a previous video I did, that's like the top of the grade stuff, supposedly, and or the $84 one from Amazon, it kind of just wears out after like three months. Now you guys are saying this lasts longer. Definitely. Yeah, so this has a stated long life of about three years. Three years. We found that if well kept, it'll stay the full three years. Okay, what do you mean by well kept? So there are enhancers just like you have for your MR2. Okay. Um, MR2, the enhancers need to be applied about three months, okay. once every three months. And if that is done, the full three year life will be going on in the car. Do you guys sell the enhancers? We do, and we apply okay. it as well. Okay, so and you, you apply it for people. Correct. Okay, so technically... Regardless of the stuff, mm -hmm. I would still want to do that enhancer to make this last longer. Well, it's, yep. a, it's a maintenance deal, so same thing as, you know, changing your oil. Okay. You'd want to do it, get your long levity out of it. You would, uh, like I said, changing your oil. You get motor life out of changing your oil, staying on top of things. Same thing with your paint. Okay, okay. So, wrap. so you guys are using 3M ceramic coating? Correct. Okay, I didn't know and, they sell that stuff. Yeah, so 3M ceramic coating, it goes out to only professionals, okay. and you have to register that with them as a wholesaler. Yeah. So that's what we did. We do it simply because we found that there's other ceramic coatings, and their cure times are so long uh -huh. that by the time it cures, you get defects in your ceramic coating. Interesting. Um, our cure time is four hours. Oh, okay. So once we apply it four hours later, you can wash it. You can do whatever you want with the car. How many coats are we doing today on this one? So we're doing a single coat that is going to be for the three year. Okay. Um, we're going to go through, apply the coating, flash it, which means let it set in okay. and then wipe it off. Is there, if you were doing coats, it would be, let's say you're doing more than one coat. So two coats is five years, uh -huh. three coats is seven years, and it just adds two years every time. Okay. And so in the, between, you got to let the coat that you did cure. So if we were doing a five year on this car, yeah. we would do our one coat uh -huh. let it sit for the four hours and then do it over oh, okay right. okay so people can actually come to you and depending on what coats you want to, what the amount of coats you want to do mm -hmm. they would just have to wait that time frame correct right yeah. okay so typically i mean even with our paint corrections we deliver cars within the same day yeah um when it is a five year we need it for two days okay is ceramic coating for wraps different than for paint it is. It is. So okay, what's the difference? For paint, we have to go through and prep the car, uh -huh. uh, paint correct it, compound it, polish it, and then apply the ceramic coating. For wraps, it is just a cleaning process. Uh, we apply some alcohol, prop uh, isopropyl alcohol on it, uh, prep it for the ceramic coating, and go ahead and just apply it on the, ceramic, uh, on the vinyl wrap. Why are they trying to sell us different types of ceramic coatings, like the wrap-specific <laughs> only or paint-specific only, like online? Is that just a, is that just a, a, marketing, a, it's a, marketing, a marketing thing? thing? Yeah. yeah, some okay. brands do that really well. I mean, I'm well. sure they might have something different in most of them, but I think most of the time you're getting the same stuff. 
All right, okay. The yeah. concept is still the same. Yeah, definitely. 3M makes it super universal to where what we're using on your wrap, on your paint, on your windows, mm -hmm. and your trims, it's all the same material. Okay, sweet. Yeah. All right, let's party. This is probably the best time for for it to be done right now because it's just freshly wrapped. The color's looking good. We wanna make sure this lasts as long as possible. Oh, she looking so good. So they're having at it. While they are doing that, we're getting set up with the new GoPro 10 setup. We got the medium mod. We got a 256 gigabyte uh, little card thing here. And then we got the 10 itself and a new holder. This is not sponsored by GoPro at all. So they getting a free plug, but this is supposed to be a better camera so switching over let me know if you guys know a difference between what you're watching now versus this one So normally, we would want to let this dry for about four hours. Then I can throw mud on it. Yep. All you right. can throw mud, milk, whatever you like. You guys were talking about starting something new where you're ceramic coating material. Yep. So okay. we're going to be ceramic coating interior parts. So okay. leather and vinyl trim inside the car. Um, full seats, steering wheels, door panels. So we'll be starting that pretty soon and we'll let you know as soon as we do. They can ceramic coat regularly on the headlight. Yep. Okay. So, oh, what about wheels? Wheels, yeah. I mean, wheels the wheels, are... the wheels, does it require the different ceramic coating or the same? We recommend marine ceramic coating the wheels just uh -huh. because the wheels go through so much, so much debris and dust. Um, marine ceramic coating works a lot better. 3M doesn't last as long as the wheels. So whenever we ceramic coat wheels, we do marine ceramic coating. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay. There you go, guys. Dropping knowledge. Okay, headlight just got ceramic coated. Ooh, that's looking super shiny. Let's check out the other side. Dang, son. It's looking nice. This is a magician. Check this out. He's got a picture. Oh, wait, hold on. This is this is a Dodge. Okay. <laughs> hold on, go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay. So this is actually a Dodge Charger. Challenger. Challenger. And if you look at it right here, I'll, I'll add this clip over here. The bottom section is old paint. The new one and the top is the stuff that he did. All right, go. Okay. So I'll put that clip into here. And, oh, my goodness. Look at that transition. Holy hell. Dude, you're wild. All right. <laughs> Thank you. That stuff is tight. Now, that is real, like, magician shit. Because I used to have, like, a busted old carbon fiber hood. Mm -hmm. And I spent hours just polishing it yep. and as soon as it i was done it was good for like one day then it's gone yeah no so we go ahead we polish it and then we'll coat it as well so it lasts it so lasts once you time. polish it and you coat it then it it just it stays glossy yep. rather than going dull again exactly okay, yeah so just, this car we polished coated with the five year and we seen it about two weeks later no wash nothing it looked exactly the same oh my goodness yeah. yo that's that's real magic <laughs> all right wrapping and that oh love it all right, y'all, they are all done. This thing is looking so good. Oh my goodness, look at it. Under all this lighting. Bang! And if you touch it, oh, it feels so slick. Wow, your hand just glides right off it. So any water, any nastiness that gets on here, just rolls right off. How long is it until I need to do the refresh spray? Three months. Three months? Yeah. So you'll be fine for three months, and then three months later, you should do the refresh spray. Okay. Is that when you no longer feel the slickness? You'll still feel a lot of slickness. It'll just be less hydrophobic. Okay. So you can... you can, Oh, hydrophobic. All right. It's not ready yet. Okay. I'll, I'll do that at the end. All right. What you mean is where you pour the water on, it just yeah, comes, it comes right off. Right. Okay. So I'll show you guys at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. But around three months, 
uh, you can go back to them and then they'll reapply the they'll they'll put like a spray on there a ceramic boost spray which i have myself so i can do that too but man that's looking good let's pull this thing out and have a look at this under the sunlight here it is guys the final end product of their professionally done ceramic coating oh man that is super shiny yo this is sick okay hey you guys did a wonderful job thank you thank you thank oh, you so thank much you. my man my man <laughs> all right hey you guys know where to go follow their instagram I'll tag it right here. And the link will be below. Use the code PARADOX at checkout for a huge, huge discount when you schedule your appointment with them. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, man. Thank you, guys. Oh, this looks so good. Honestly, when I feel this versus when I do it on the MR2 there, uh, with the cheap stuff, you can really feel the difference between professionally done stuff and the cheap stuff. So you guys let me know what you guys think from this video. Comment below. Which one would you do? Professional or the cheap version? All right, and as a final test, we are gonna ceramic coat the white glitter. So this side is gonna be coated. There you go. This side is gonna be labeled coated. And we're gonna see if it maintains its glitter. And I'm gonna throw all kinds of nasty stuff on this piece of wrap. So those of you who have the glitter wrap, a lot of folks complain about the fact that uh this gets stained very easily by like stuff that just gets on it so this is going to be an active test so if that side stains and this side doesn't then ceramic coating might be the thing you want to do for these glitter ones stay tuned to the end of the video we're going to test it out there we go so right now preliminary it looks like the streaks these streaks come out in the material, so maybe it's not worth coating. So we'll see after this. Hey, you guys coat engine bays? <laughs> we do not. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all that dust. <laughs> too bad, too bad. All right, here we are. We got the not coated over there and the coated over here. You can kind of see a difference in the daylight. That side is definitely slightly shinier than this side. So at this angle here. I mean, it's a bit duller, but it might be worth the risk. Let's go pour some oil on this. All right, right here we got some old oil from my last oil change. We're gonna put, oh, a dab, and then we're gonna put, oh, another dab right there. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for a second. I'm gonna dab it up with a towel. Okay, been a couple minutes. Gonna try to soak up this oil here with a paper towel what happens soapy water wiping it clean dry towel real quick dry towel here we go dry towel okay and the verdict is you can kind of still see the stain on the coated side. You can really see it on the not coated side. Okay. And in the light, uh, you can definitely see a yellow stain right there. Not so bad on this side. It's still visible slightly, but 
I mean, if you're a messy person and you do run the risk of uh, a lot of stuff getting onto your glitter wrap, I would say yes, it's probably worth ceramic coating it. Yeah, see there? Uh, I would definitely say it's worth ceramic coating even if you lose a little bit of luster and it doesn't hit as hard, but the stains definitely aren't the same. So this one, remember the drips all the way down here, was not as bad. You can barely see it. These are like my, my uh, greasy finger marks, but then this one over is really bad. So with it being able to protect it from oil that's dirty, it should be good with everything else. However, the trade-off is you can kind of see these streaks in the texture of the material come up. See that, that streak there? And uh, like one over here. That happens when the ceramic coating got on it. It just showed up. Wow, there's no streaks on that side. So it's kind of a, a trade-off. You want like really nasty stains or you want some streaks. And there it is with the water beating effect. Okay, right there, right there, right there. Right there, right there, right there. That's looking good. And right there, because it's ceramic coated, the water will beat up like this on your headlights, on your flat surfaces. You don't have to do that much maintenance and it will just roll right off. So there you have it. If you enjoy this episode, comment below. Let me know what you guys think about professional versus amateur DIY ceramic coating. If you have a glitter car, uh, that's just something you have to decide on the trade-offs that I just showed you. So remember, if you're local to Sacramento and you wanna go get your ceramic coating done by a professional or some detailing, go to my boy's website right down there. I will link the description and use the code PARADOX for a huge discount on their website when you schedule your appointment. So until next time, guys, let me know what you think. I'll catch you guys later.